Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, we are going to be farming some Moss Flare Zombies. Now, these mobs are here in Eastern Plaguelands, and they are level 53 to 54. However, they are also with Unliving Moss Flayers, which are level 55, so it can be very uh, obnoxious here at level 50, but they have some of the best loot tables that are probably killable at level 50 that I can find in a reasonable solo farm type manner. But before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps my channel grow, helps me get discovered, and helps me help as many people as possible, which is the entire point of my channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So we are here in Eastern Plaguelands at the Undercroft. It is at about approximately coordinates 3083 right here. And we are going to be killing Moss Flayer Zombies. They are level 53 to 54. And there are also Unliving Moss Flayers here, which are level 55, so they can pose a bit of a problem depending on your gear and class. So just be aware of those and stay vigilant while you are farming these mobs. These mobs have a high-end loot table because they are in EPL, as well as they're going to be dropping level 49 to 50. 52 BOEs and if you get level 52 BOEs you can disenchant them for illusion dust and large brilliant shards very low chance but possible for those high end enchanting mats which can be very very nice so we are going to farm this for an hour and see what we get the build I'm going with is my standard PvE mage build. Since these mobs are higher, I would recommend putting on as much hit gear as you possibly can. If it has hit on it, it is worth using here. Um, so, like, I'm using this trinket. I'm using my belt. Um, I think that's actually all the hit gear I have. But if any... Oh, this... My chest has hit and my helmet has hit as well so just put on as much hit gear as you possibly can because you are going to need it when you are fighting mobs here as well as if you have talent points that give you hits such as elemental precision make sure that you are using those but i'm going with the standard frostfire raid build for this farm because aoeing anything higher than you is a pain in the butt so i would recommend that you're a mage or a hunter to do this farm any melee class is going to struggle. A hunter would probably be better than a mage, but my hunter is still level 40 at this time, and my mage is very geared, so hopefully my mage can make it work. So we're going to get after it. We're going to start farming these zombies, and I will see you after that. Alrighty, guys. So if you have ever done Tyrion Forging's questline here in EPL, you know, like, his gravestone here, and you summon three zombies that you have to solo. So if you've ever done that on, like, hardcore or solo, you know about this spot. But you can utilize this for farming. So what I'm going to show you here is a little pathing trick that can be very, very helpful. So you come right here, and you hug this fence, and it causes this mob to run all the way around. And this can be very helpful for this farm because these mobs hit you hard. They pretty much non-stop crit, and then you can just go like that, back and forth, and you will path them the entire time, making this super quick, reliable, and easy to do. And then you can go and loot your mob. I'd recommend this for the 55 mobs, like this one here, um, just because the chance to resist when they're red is just so high that it makes it pretty uh, obnoxious to try to kill them. Uh, sometimes you'll get lucky, but I'm going to work my way over to that fence while fighting this. And be careful with the moss flyers because they will stun you. So just be very aware of that. And as you can see, you can do it from this side as well. You just jump over here. And then we are going to hug the fence. And he should path away right now. It's just a nice little easy trick that you can use here to make these really easy. Because as you're seeing, even with all this hate gear, I, you can just get unlucky fighting red mobs and resist, resist, resist. And it can be very uh, tedious and obnoxious and these mobs hit hard. So just making you aware of that. And anyway, I'll see you at the end. Voop. Alrighty guys, so we have finished up our nice little farm here at the Undercroft and in one hour we were able to kill 93 mobs. We were able to lose just under 5 gold in raw currency. 
and as far as items go, we did pretty well. We got a 2H sword here that will sell for about 2 gold. We got one of the best waylaid supplies to get because it only costs about a gold 50 to fill and we'll get about 4 gold for turning it in. So that's an extra 2 gold, 50 silver profit. We got a scroll of spirit 4 which sells for pretty decent. Um, we were able to actually get, this happened on like the second kill, we got a 51 green so i should be able to de this and possibly get illusion dust or a large brilliant shard we're gonna do that right now for you guys i probably should vendor it for one gold and 73 silver but just for the video we'll de it just so you guys can see what we can get and we got one illusion dust which probably isn't worth one gold and 76 silver but you know it's just to show you the reason why this higher up farm might be worth doing just because it has the potential to drop some really nice stuff. We got a, a stamina four scroll, but priests are heavily used, so this one probably doesn't sell for too much. We are able to get 44 rune cloth, and this was actually quite close to the drop rate for the amount that we killed, which is what we like to see. Finally, we're near that reasonable drop rate and the biggest thing were the six major healing potions which sell for a gold each and because we are a mage we got three scrolls which we can decipher and we got lemuel passage which is a big one that sells for one to two gold we got a scroll of comprehension which gives us more comprehension charms which it's whatever and then we decipher that and we get polymorph odd melon so the lemuel passage is very nice the other two we probably should have just sold as they were but all in all pretty decent farm with these major health pots the scrolls the rune cloth turning them into obviously tailoring and then rune cloth bags will be just shy of two of them i'll probably kill another mob or two get that extra rune cloth to make the two that i need but all in all pretty good farm it has that potential to be great because of those level 51 greens guys so if you're an enchanter and you want to farm these this is pretty much the only place that i think is reasonable to solo farm that you can get those high-end enchanting mats however rare it might be in one hour killing 93 mobs we got one thing and we got one illusion dust but if you like farming mobs like this come here give it a whirl let me know how you do but i'd say we're total somewhere between that 40 50 gold mark which is pretty good for an open world farm here and obviously we're utilizing our tailoring profession to make the most out of that but anyway guys i truly hope you enjoyed this video this is one of the hardest ones i've done definitely make sure you utilize that safe spot and you are a ranged class otherwise it will be pretty brutal but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and until next time i'll see you later have a great day Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.